Hello everyone. Welcome to ITBExpert.com. So we are providing best machine learning project at a better price. Okay. Today we are going to see some of the inno innovative project, very much useful for the current society. So this is the project which we are going to talk about today. Smart traffic management system using YOLO V4 and mobile net algorithm. This is the project we are going to discuss about today. This project based on 2023 IEEE. Okay, this project published on recent years. Okay, so as well as you can see, it's published on August 2023. Very much recent project. This project completely useful for society problem. Okay, nowadays each and every city, even if it's a small city or bigger city, okay, everyone facing traffic problem here. Why? Because we are perhaps, uh, facing traffic problem means. Uh, somewhat road contains four lane or five lane and all means the traffic light which used to reroute the all the vehicles it operates on the delay based technique delay based means for example we are taking four signal means first signal will work for 30 seconds next signal will work for 30 seconds another signal will work for 30 seconds same okay it doesn't calculate how much vehicle each lane contains it will operate based on the delay it completely operates on the delay only okay for example if you are taking four lane means i do explain with the image okay for example if you are taking four lane roads means this is the four lane roads This is the four lane roads. You can see this lane having this lane having very much low number of vehicles. This lane and this lane having high number of vehicles. This lane having very much low number of vehicles. But the traffic system will give 30 seconds for this lane, 30 seconds for this lane, 30 seconds for this lane, then 30 seconds for this lane. This is very much worst scenario. Okay. Too much of traffic will happen due to this. So what we are going to do means we are going to propose completely deep learning based approach which, which can be able to calculate how much vehicles available on each lane depends upon the vehicle count it will allocate the traffic signal that's the system we are going to do today okay this is the project PPT which we are going to explain today so this is the project PPT I do explain that so we are given modified title as a intelligent traffic system for urban condition using real time video tracking vehicle tracking this is the project title modified title we are given this is the project abstract so congestion was a very much serious issue nowadays so to fix the congestion issue what we are going to do means we have to enable the real time traffic controlling system real time intelligent traffic management system it project the completely based on the video based approach if you are giving Video output of the lane means it will calculate how much vehicles available on the each lane using deep learning. Depends upon the vehicle count, automatically it will predict the traffic signal. Then it will automatically output the traffic signal also, traffic lights also. That's what you are going to do today. So main objective was we have to reduce the overall traffic. So for that we are going to use traffic prediction system. So in introduction we uh, mentioned that various problems faced by traffic. This is the literature survey of the project. We have taken recent literatures. Okay. Then what is the major problem in the literature? We are given overall existing system. Some of the traffic reduction system uses sensor burst approach. They have placed some sensor on the roads. The sensor will estimate how much vehicle passed by using sensing operation. The major problem was in rainy condition, it won't, it won't work. In night time, it won't work. So much of problems are there. Also, some human based systems also available. Some humans able to control the traffic. Some lane they will give higher priority, some lane they will give lower priority like that. That also huge manpower task. Okay, that is a major drawback. In existing system, traffic fold is facing too much of a problem. As well as in sensor based approach, less accuracy we are getting. Sensors are prone to failure. Too much of failure will happen on the sensor. To overcome this only, what we are going to do means we are going to use deep learning. That means AI based model. So here this project if you are giving live video means it will calculate all the it will convert all the videos into frames from that frames it will extract the images okay from the images it will calculate how much uh, buses available how much cars available how much bikes available 
based on the vehicle count it will automatically operate the traffic signal okay due to this we can overcome most traffic okay this is the project or agenda so in our proposed system we are going to use yolo instead of existing system we are going to use yolo version 5 as a proposed system including with that we are going to add on alexnet version 3 combined combiningly we are creating hybrid approach for better performance as well as better accuracy for this project this is the main thing here okay this is the overall flow diagram if you are giving video or images means it will calculate the head direction but by using that it will calculate the vehicle density from using that it will operate the traffic signals okay so image acquisition model you can use any video here Deprocessing model will convert those videos into frame format from that it will calculate the uh, vehicles object direction model it will use to predict how much cars how much bikes how much buses how much trucks various object direction we are going to apply here okay from, from that it will capture the count data from that count light control model will on up the light so this is the overall models of the project we are going to use python language for that we are going to run using anaconda id so this is the project requirements the major advantage was we are going to use live camera here uh, you can use any number of videos 30 to 40 frames per second any high contrast video low contrast anything you can use okay so this is a major conclusion of the project by using this ai model you can reduce overall delay in reaching your uh, destination okay so in future we can apply armless prediction model some other concept also including with this so this is the overall reference of the project so without wasting much more further time i'm going to run the project so for that this project report also available once you are purchasing means we do give everything okay so i'm going to use some videos so this is my video folder you can use uh, as i mentioned earlier you can use any number of videos here not an issue we can use any number of videos for example i'm going to use one of the video so this is the video i'm going to use so this is the video this is the first lane video second lane then third lane fourth lane showing here different lanes videos this is another main lane this is also another lane this is also another lane so those are the lane videos i'm going to use here okay different angle lanes so what i'm going to do means i'm going to run my main coding this is my project my main coding i'm going to run my project main code so to run my main code what i'm going to means i'm going to copy the project location then open anaconda navigator in that you have to open your project command prompt project terminal you have to use those installation links, installation instruction, everything included with the project, you will get everything along with it while you are purchasing. So, in the meantime, please subscribe our channel. So, we do follow, we do update regularly. Most useful videos for Python, Deep Learning, VLSI, Embedded Technologies, okay? Most recent projects, most recent technologies, working videos, everything we do upload. So, don't forget to follow our channel. We do release coupons for project purchasing also so if you are following our channel means you would get coupon updates also regularly so don't forget to follow uh, subscribe our channel okay so i am going to open my project terminal so in the project terminal you have to copy the location of the project you have to paste using td space project location then enter you have to run main.py so what you have to do means you have to python space main.py you have to run with this python space main.py once you are running means it will create your page so this is your project location page so intelligent traffic manager first of all what you have to do means you have to set your input folder you have to output folder i am going to set my input folder my video input folder I am going to set my video input folder. So it is available on Python script, intelligent traffic management system. So input, I am going to set input. 
then i'm going to set output also so output also same avail uh, they are only available python script intelligent traffic management system then i have to set output folder that's it everything run after that you have to set your traffic specification in traffic specification i'm going to consider 100 number of frames that means 100 minutes of traffic i have to consider you can change your timing whatever i'm going to give iteration as a one how much uh any you have to run so i'm going to apply iteration as a one that's it you here you can change the lane with the road with everything you can change cycle timing everything you can change okay just give okay that's it so now it's updated data set size as well as uh, everything updated so i'm going to check with the uh, one single images whether my image processing algorithm work or not so what i'm going to do means i'm going to check with one image just to click test image processing algorithm it will check with one images so see that it perfectly working so this is the image i'm going to give see that images the video converted into frames you can see videos converted into the frames multiple frames from that randomly it will take one images see that this is the input image we are going to give if this is the output image you can see clearly everything okay see here car car bus bus everything detected automatically so the overall vehicle detected count was 70 okay which is very much best okay it's working perfectly so just give back so once vehicle counted means what we have to do means we have to use run intelligent traffic manager okay this will run the traffic data as per that so now i am going to run traffic intelligent traffic manager just run that see that it's predicting the data car bus 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 how much cars available how much bus available on each and every lane it automatically predict everything okay see that truck data traffic light data buses cars everything it will predict automatically so now the traffic light also opened okay you can see first priority will be the lane one you can see 19 vehicles pre uh, predicted on the lane one just click start now tra traffic lights will start work okay just click start here see that traffic light enabled for the lane one okay so if now uh, orange color then it begin to green color okay the overall saturation flow for the well, lane one will be 180 so time given for the traffic lane one was 34 So now it's running for the lane one. Next it move for the another lane. So lane one going to off. It move to the lane two now. Okay. Lane two going to run. So if it's now it will give less time for the lane two. Then it will move for the another lane. See that now time was very low only now consider the other point now time was very low then move to the lane 3 now it moved to the lane 4 so it will operate based on the vehicle density automatically okay based on it will automatically vehicle density okay it won't work with the delay 1 2 3 like that using in the existing system see that all in completed now go back check road view 
road view means it will give data for the uh, view for the all the four lanes okay see that this is the lane structure you can see four lanes lane one contains 22 images lane two contains 19 uh, sorry lane one contains 22 vehicles lane two contains 19 vehicles lane three contains 20 vehicles lane four contains 18 vehicles so it will automatically operate based on the next point traffic light will work on the each and every frames depends upon the vehicle count it will automatically update you no need to worry about that it will give priority based on the vehicles count okay once vehicle passed means it will automatically update okay then go back you can check create data set just give create data set it will give the data set for all the vehicles see that lane 1 first frame lane 1 29 lane 2 37 lane 3 42 lane 4 19 so the overall traffic for the each and every lane next next set of traffic 17 33 3 vehicles 24 the traffic density data then next 24 vehicles on the lane 1 29 vehicles on lane 2 2 vehicles on lane 3 lane 4 27 okay this is the overall traffic flow it will automatically update update those data okay just give uh, give save here then go to back now you can check display data so this is your overall data set okay here you can get much number of details okay much number of details okay so this is the overall data set created by our project in the data set you can check okay number of vehicles on lane 1 number of vehicles on lane 2 number of vehicles on lane 3 number of vehicles on lane 4 how much traffic density on lane 1 how much traffic density on lane 2 how much traffic density on lane 3 how much traffic density on lane 4 overall time given for lane 1 lane 2 lane 3 lane 4 how much time given for each and every lanes so overall lane diameter lane uh, lane length for the each lane you can reduce or increase depends upon the coding okay so this is the priority for each and every lanes okay this is the priority ratio so this is the priority ratio for each and every lane so this is the optimum allocated resources for the each lane okay this is the optimum allocated resource for each lane so this is the data for all the frames that means we are given 100 timing in now 100 minutes so 100 minutes means it will create all the data for 100 minutes okay you can check all the details details okay so 100 minutes each and every minute it will allocate, allocate the traffic okay each and every minute you can give one thousand minutes 60 minutes anytime you can give so we are given 100 minutes to run this so this is the traffic data for each and every 100 minutes just to close this here those data will save on here also you can check this data it will save on here also so automatically it will create the excel file also you can show the excel file also to your guides and everything so okay clear details everything will be given clearly okay so total time to complete this traffic okay how much time you have saved everything given here so then what you have to do means you have go to next part in the next part just to give data visualization in data visualization just to go to number of vehicles on each lane just click this so this is the average number of vehicles present on the each lane this is the average number of vehicles present on the each lane for the 100 minutes okay this is the first minute second minute third minute 100 minutes you can check for example in first minute in lane 1 30 vehicles nearly in lane 2 nearly 40 vehicles in lane 3 nearly 45 vehicles but in lane 4 nearly 20 vehicles this is the traffic density for each and every lane for 100 minutes i given 100 minutes in the initial running itself you can change that also then close then go to traffic flow on each lane so this is the traffic flow so how much traffic we are getting on the each lane for the 100 minutes it will generate a graph for each and every lane for 100 minutes okay then traffic flow ratio on each lane total traffic flow how much traffic you have reduced okay in first minute the project started no that time huge traffic happened 
on 17 minutes you can see this is 17 in 17 minutes also we have faced a huge traffic peak number of traffic otherwise traffic was very much low on the other time so this is the peak traffic period on the project then go to optimum cycle time so optimum cycle time means how much priority you are given for each and every lens how much 120 that means 12 seconds that is 8 seconds each and every second how much traffic priority you given for each and every things okay how much traffic you have reduced while compared to the existing system how much traffic you have reduced this is the graph for the comparison how much traffic you have reduced while comparing to the existing system so this is the vehicles how much vehicles uh, waited how much time the vehicles are waited on the each lane how much time vehicles are waited on the each lane the waiting time also reduced while comparing to the existing system the waiting time also reduced this is the major advantage of this project okay this is the complete project you can purchase everything here okay so to get this project please contact iwexpert.com we do provide this project at best to price okay Please subscribe our channel also for future projects. Okay. Thank you.